functions are a tool for describing the real world in mathematical terms. The area of a circle depends on the radius of the circle. The distance an object travels at constant speed along a straight line path depends on the elapsed time. In each case, the value of one variable quantity, say y, depends on the value of another variable quantity, which we might call x. We say that y is a function of x, and write this symbolically as y equals f of x. In this notation, the symbol f represents the function. The letter x is the independent variable representing the input value of f. And y is the dependent variable, or output value of f at x. Suppose we have two sets, d and y. Every element in the set D is related to exactly one element in the set Y. Such a relation is called a function. A function F from a set D to a set Y is a rule that assigns exactly one element from the set Y to each element in the set D. The set D of all possible input values is called the domain of the function. The set Y is called the codomain of the function. The set of all output values of f of x, as x varies throughout d, is called the range of the function. In this example, the range consists of the members c, d, and e. Note that the range may not include every element in the set y. The range is a subset of the codomain. It may or may not be equal to the codomain. There are two important rules for a relation between input and output sets to be a function. First, every element in the input set must be related to some element in the output set. Second, every element in the input set must be related to exactly one element in the output set. A function is single-valued, that is, every input value corresponds to only one output value. It will not give two or more results for the same input value. A function f is like a machine that produces an output value f of x in its range whenever we feed it an input value x from its domain. Consider the sets d and y related to each other as shown. Can we consider this relation as a function? Pause this video and give it a thought. Clearly, every element in the set E is related to exactly one element in the set Y. So, the given relation is a function. Also note that in this case, the range is equal to the codomain. Now consider the sets D and Y related to each other as shown. Can we consider this relation as a function? Pause this video and give it a thought. Again, every element in the set E is related to exactly one element in the set Y. So, the given relation is a function. The range consists of the elements B, C, and D. So, in this case, the range is the strict subset of the codomain. Note that a function can have the same value at two or more different input elements in the domain, but it should not have more than one value at the same input element in the domain. To understand it better, let's see one more example. Consider the sets D and Y related to each other as shown. Again, pause this video and try to figure out if this relation is a function. Clearly, every element in the set D is related to some element in the set Y. But, every element in the set D is not related to exactly one element in the set Y. The element 2 in the input set is assigned to two elements, B and C, in the output set. So, the given relation is not a function. We can also picture a function as an arrow diagram. Each arrow associates an element of the domain with a single element in the codomain. In this diagram, the arrows indicate that f of a is associated with a, f of x is associated with x, and so on. Consider the sets d and y related to each other as shown. Again, pause this video and try to figure out if this relation is a function. Clearly, every element in the set d is not related to some element in the set y. The element 4 in the input set is not assigned to any element in the output set. 
So, the given relation is not a function. Now consider the sets D and Y related to each other as shown. Can we consider this relation as a function? Pause this video and give it a thought. Clearly, the element 4 in the input set is not assigned to any element in the output set. Also, the element 2 in the input set is assigned to two elements, B and C, in the output set. So, the given relation is not a function. Vertical line test for a function. Not every curve in the coordinate plane can be the graph of a function. Using this test we can figure out whether a given curve is the graph of a function or not. As discussed earlier, a function f can have only one value, f of x, for each x in its domain, so no vertical line can intersect the graph of a function more than once. If a is in the domain of the function f, then the vertical line x equals a will intersect the graph of f at the single point, whose abscissa is a, and ordinate is f of a. Consider the curve in the coordinate plane as shown. A vertical line intersects this curve twice. So, this curve is not the graph of a function. Similarly, the circle is not the graph of a function, since some vertical lines intersect the circle twice. However, the upper semicircle and the lower semicircle both are the graphs of functions. 